We begin our program this morning with our guest via telephone, former Delegate Ken Reed and a current candidate for Secretary of State in West Virginia. Ken, good morning to you. Good morning, Rob. How are you this fine morning? Uh, we are very well, and uh, it's always a pleasure having you on the show, uh, too, Ken. Uh, former Morgan County Commissioner as well. When was your last year of being County Commissioner, Ken? Uh, that was, wow, that's been a while ago. Um, <laughs> to, oh, my goodness, 2020? 2020? 2020, maybe tw- yeah, I think I think that was it. Twenty twenty. The, the years. I'm at the age now that these years all blend together, Rob. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, bro. <laughs> Especially <laughs> some of us. It, it, it just seems like yesterday, and uh, I was talking to one of my employees up at, uh, at the pharmacy yesterday, and I'm like, "Well, you just got here," and she's like, "I've been here for 14 years." <laughs> <laughs> you know, for Bill, the centuries blend together, so it's an entirely different class. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't laugh on that, Ken. Don't laugh. <laughs> those, I, I ain't saying a ain't saying a word. <laughs> those kids with the horse and buggy, what are they doing out there out front there? Yeah. Uh, Ken, I know we've discussed this before, but uh, there's always new people moving to the area, new audience uh, as well. You decided uh, this year to run for Secretary of State. Can you tell us why? Uh, I believe that uh, the Secretary of State's office is like t- tailor-made for uh, the, the skill set that I have. And uh, I'd like to continue my public service. And I think that might be a, the, one of the best ways to go since uh, Secretary Warner has decided to run for governor. That leaves that office open. Uh, and w- the duties of those o- of that office just w- is perfect for the, the skill sets that I've acquired over the last 30 years. The thought process not that long ago was that it would be difficult for a candidate out of the Eastern Panhandle to win statewide office. But that myth has been busted and shattered. Patrick Morrissey and Riley Moore out of Jefferson County have both won statewide offices. Ken, does that give you any incentive or additional hope in a race like this? Oh, it, it, it does. The, uh, the Eastern Panhandle, uh, with the population growth, uh, soon will be the, the the workhorse of West Virginia. At least that's what I, I believe. And the, the topography of West Virginia uh, and where the people live play a big role in that. You know, right now the Eastern Panhandle, which consists of Jefferson, Morgan, and um, Berkeley counties, rival that of the the historically powerhouse of Canal in the you know Putnam County area. So we're we're getting up there with. Um, tying them with potential number of votes and um the where the people run from is extremely important uh for the statewide offices the the, the, that uh, secretary of state is getting a little on the crowded side uh now there are at least um uh, one two three four five six or six potential candidates of course you know everything until january when the official things go on uh everything's up in the air but right now there's six people and possibly a seventh that are interested in that race uh i as far as i know i'm the only one that's uh from the eastern panhandle and uh i think that sits well for my chances because the other candidates will pretty much chew in each other's voter base do you regard the republican primary as basically the true election for the position uh, I actually do in this environment. Um, this is an overwhelmingly Republican state this time. The, the legislature is overwhelmingly Republican. Um, I believe that the Republicans will sweep uh, pretty much just about every office this, this coming election. Bill? Yeah. Uh, who are the other five or six, Ken, that's uh, potentially running? Uh, there's a, a clerk out of Putnam County. There's a, a guy out of Gilmer County, one out of Upshur. Those two, I, I don't know who they are. Yeah. Uh, there's, I think there was an ex-senator out of Monroe, which is down south. Um, and then I got uh, a Canal County uh, candidate uh, who's a, a delegate also down there uh, who has been run. So it, it keeps getting there, – there seems to be more and more – applicants for that job you know I, since, since i'm like i own my own business i was i consider myself an applicant for the job <laughs> mm-hmm. but but there's no one that's uh that's well known at this point in time uh well known throughout the no, state no that, that's actually the pro the, one of the biggest problems with any type of statewide race is nobody knows anybody else and that that's where the um 
your your campaign donations come into play is you got to get your name out there and get name recognition. Um, nobody in this race so far uh, is known, I don't think, outside their little area that they, 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 they've been in. Okay. Uh, if you are fortunate enough to be elected, that means you'll be moving to Charleston. You, you, do you have to be in Charleston to be Secretary of State? No, there. That's where the main office is. But I, there's two. Uh, there's two other offices. I, I believe one is in Clarksburg, and then the other one is here in Martinsburg. There's an office here uh, that's uh, opened up, and uh, I would probably just rotate through the offices. Okay, so you could do the function bin. This the office that's. Uh, I think at the train station now. That's uh, where it's located. So. Yeah, the, the, the staff, I, I went down and talked to the staff of the Secretary of State's office, and uh, they, they are, they're very good. Um, Secretary Warner has hired uh, extremely competent uh, individuals to uh, help in, their, in the Charleston office all the time. Um, so I, most of that probably, if they would stay, would probably just stay the same. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, and the uh, the lady that's rep that represents Secretary of State's office in in uh, uh, Martinsburg is the daughter of uh, Alan Davis, uh, this, the county sec a county commissioner administrator until just a couple of weeks ago. So uh, another yeah, the uh, I'm go sorry, go ahead. No, no, go right ahead, Ken. Sorry. No, no, no. I, I just I just butted in. I just stepped on you. Yeah, in pilot talk, I just stepped on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, so your businesses will be okay as well. I'm just looking at it from the kind of the logistic, logistical aspect. Bill needs those prescriptions well, filled I in need, a timely I, fashion, yeah, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't in want fact, any excuses. In, in fact, stay on the line for a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to hear any excuses about him in Charleston right now. I can't fill him. You get down right ahead. The other day, our point of sales went down up in Burton Springs, and you would think that the earth was uh, going to blow up. And, uh -huh. uh, people people need their stuff, and they need it like right now. Yes, um, sir. But the answer to your question is yes. The uh, I have set up almost all my business to run independently of me. I basically fix things or put out fires, um, and uh, go to where I need to be. Almost all the stores have uh, extremely good people running them uh and unless something blows up usually when my phone rings it's usually something that's either blown up physically and they need help trying to get the new server or point of sale going or with software i'm the uh, it guy i'm the janitor i'm the guy who just uh just picks up the pieces mike height yeah so let's keep going along that that train of thought so you're the the guy that that picks up fixes everything um, in your businesses and you're a pretty successful business guy with pharmacies and a restaurant tour and all these different things so let's say you get um, nominated or elected as the Secretary of State and you're spending more time down in Charleston um, who, who takes care of all these things so when when a fire breaks out in one of your your businesses how does that taken care of? Are, do you have any concerns? Uh, that, was, that, that, that would be my wife, Ra, or uh, Mike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, you know, we, we talk about this a lot on here. Is you know, being a, a delegate or a senator or now Secretary of State, which is a full time job. Um, you know that it takes a a certain person to be able to do these jobs and to be able to leave their businesses um, or their job. Um, to go down and, and do these things that just not everybody has that ability to do that. Um, and it sounds you're absolutely right, Mike. It, it's, it is to be able to, to free yourself, like the legislature, for instance, you know, just to be able to leave for 60 days is almost impossible for anybody who has a normal job. Well, and you I'm know, finding out it's not just 60 or, days either. I mean, it's, it's a, it's, it's not a full-time job, but it's a whole lot more than just 60 days as well. Oh, it's a full-time job, Mike. I, I, I did it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a full-time job. There's no doubt about that, and it makes it really tough to do that. Uh, but my wife happens to be a whole lot smarter than me and a lot prettier than me, so <laughs> she'd probably get things done a lot better than I ever could. So let me let's talk about Secretary of State too, and why not one of the other positions you have? I, I believe you're living in Berkeley County now, right? Uh, no, I'm still in Morgan. Oh, you're still in Morgan. Morgan's okay. my home base. Okay, so there's there's 
other positions available. I mean, you could you could run for House of Delegates again. Uh, you could run for state senator um, this time around. Um, why Secretary of State? What made you choose that one? I chose that one because it fits my skill set probably the best. Not I have dealt with the Secretary of State's office for years and with my businesses and stuff, and it's the biggest part of that um, – office is the business uh, divisions and with the licensings and uh, maintenance of records and trademarks and all that kind of stuff um, it just fits into what I know you know if you look at auditor treasurer I, I've often thought this you know the attorney general you, you have to be a lawyer to be attorney general I often thought that these 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 like auditor and treasurer you should have some type of accounting background or right. something in those fields to to push you through, but you, you just don't. You know, they, it's like your 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 county assessor. You know, you don't have to have any, any type of background in that or, or accounting background. And I always thought that would be really nice to have. Yeah, uh, pardon me, Ken. I did what you did uh, you did to me earlier. I stepped on you. I thought you were finished. And you made a point that I wanted to kind of add to it you said earlier that one of your duties in the pharmacy was uh was being a jack of all trades including janitorial work is that one mm -hmm. of the, is that one of the reasons that you're running for secretary of state <laughs> <laughs> oh man I, I i can tell when i'm being set up i, I think i think you're getting get there the uh no, the answer to the question no is I think uh, Secretary Warner has done a phenomenal job with the state of West Virginia when it comes to the elections and the business uh, part. He uh, he has chosen to move on or try to uh, run for the governor uh, job, and uh, so the answer to the question is no. I, I think that Secretary of State there's probably there's not a lot to clean up. I think there's things that we can improve, you know, like the websites and making it easier. I like. I like the thought of like one and done. You get in there and you can do you can do all. If you have multiple LLCs, you can like click on them all, get them all done at the same time, and then just do one payment. And uh, there, there's stuff like that that can be done to make it easier for the businesses coming into the state to to register and. Uh, work through the Secretary of State's office. Yeah, and I was obviously being facetious for that point, but it leads me into another thing, that uh, frequently f individuals, the whole statewide office, do it as a as figurehead. Mac Warner has not done that. Mac has been very much involved and has made a lot of progress in moving the Secretary of State's office to the 21st century. What, what specifically could you do to build upon the success of Mac Warner? Uh, I think it's exactly what I said. I, I think you can take what he's done and then just build on it, continue work. With it. As everybody knows, the, the te technology changes like today. The stuff that you buy today is already out of date tomorrow. And uh, the especially with the business stuff and the, and the online access, that is constantly being improved to make it more user-friendly, uh, make it easier uh, for people to apply for these uh different things that they're trying to apply for and to be more uh, accessible to the public uh, if the public wants to come in. I've been in that office quite a bit, and just about everybody in there has been extremely friendly um, and helpful when you go in. That Those tweaks are where it goes. Uh, I'm, like I said, the, the, this office I, I think is like pretty much tailor-made for just my skill set. Uh, I've been in business for 30 30 years plus and uh, each each time we try to improve on every day we try to improve on what we do or make it easier for the customer or make it better for the whole um, uh, people trying to use these services can talk a little bit about your strategy and and how you think you you're going to have to go to win this um, statewide election um, I, I I agree with your <clears throat> excuse me assessment that a lot of the the individuals from the southern part of the state will probably hack into their own votes and and you know split a lot of the vote down there so how do you become uh well known across the the northern part of the state and and win an overall statewide election well that that's an excellent question the 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 
Oh, I, I ran in 2014. I ran for Congress. Um, that, that was my first political run, and it was an eye opener, uh, especially on a district that big. It ran from Jefferson to Jackson County. And uh, so that was my first foray into politics, and it was very different race than a county commissioner race. Uh, these bigger races, nobody knows who you are. You, you, your, your main goal is trying to get your name recognition out there, and then just people just to know who you are. With the smaller races, everybody knows who you are. And they, know, they know where you work, and they know where to find you. <laughs> <laughs> and they do. So the, those races are like very different type of races. So in this particular race for Secretary of State, I I have a built-in uh, plus, I guess you could say, is I'm actually from the northern panhandle. I grew up in Brook County, uh, you know, ran around Hancock, Marshall, Wheeling, those areas. That's where I grew up. I have a lot of family still up in that area. And then uh, North Central West Virginia, when I went to pharmacy school way back when, I was spent six years or so in Morgantown, and I still have a lot of ties to Central West Virginia. A lot of the, my friends that I graduated with ended up staying in Clarksburg area, Morgantown. So I have a lot of infrastructure kind of building up on the back end for the North uh, Northern Panhandle and the Central West Virginia. The um, uh, South was a little bit harder because there's a lot more candidates down there. But since my time, the, my delegate uh, time, I had made inroads in down there. Um, my, um, my and it doesn't help. My brother-in-law's uh, uh, brother happens to be a county commissioner in uh, I think Mercer County. So. I have. I, I plan on making a trip down there and introducing myself to him and, uh, and going to the surrounding counties. So my goal is just to, to get enough votes down there, just here and there, and then sweep uh, North Central and Northern Panhandle and Eastern Panhandle. I think you're that, right. That's, that's the plan. I mean, it, it's not rocket science. I think you're right where name recognition plays a big part in it. So uh, a lot of times in these statewide elections, you'll have individuals who seek out their delegates in that area and look for endorsements as a, a way to get recognition in areas that you're not well known. Are you seeking out any endorsements from senators or delegates outside of this immediate area where people know you? Right now, I have not done that. Uh, right now, I think it's a, still a little early. Side. The, the governor's race kind of pushed everything, er, the whole political bundle, very early. And uh, right now, I think the most important thing is actually fundraising um, to run these races to get your name out there. There are there are places in the I, don't know, I guess the shoulder of West Virginia where Ritchie County and those places that were that you can only get to those those um, people by mail, and mail is extremely expensive to, to get your message out. So right now, I think the most important part is to hit the, the Republican events and focus on fundraising to be able to get your name out there via internet or mail or however you're going to get your message out there later on when it gets closer to the election. Right now, everybody's enjoying their, their their vacations. They don't want to talk to me about politics and Secretary of State's office. The number one question I get whenever I tell them I'm running for Secretary of State is what does the Secretary of State do? So that, that that's then you go into the explanation of what the Secretary of State actually does. Um, and that, that's, that's what you're dealing with. Ken Reed is our guest here on the program, former member of the House of Delegates, former Morgan County Commissioner, right now candidate for West Virginia Secretary of State. Ken, the current Secretary of State, Mac Warner, is currently a candidate for governor, and if you believe polls, uh, trailing badly in his attempt to become governor. Uh, some speculate he might withdraw and maybe decide to run for Secretary of State once again. If that happens, does that change your strategy? Uh, if that happens, I will probably drop out. I am not going to run against the existing Secretary of State office. He's done a, a, a very good job. I'm just not going to do it. 
He, one more question here, Bill. Uh, he has also stated on this program within the last year that he, and I'm going to paraphrase, can declare unequivocally that the election was stolen from Donald Trump. What are your feelings on the last election in regards to its legitimacy? I think that West Virginia voted for Donald Trump. How about nationally? Uh, that I don't know. I don't uh, keep. I don't pay attention to what Pennsylvania or Bear Virginia does. It's 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 outside my realm. But, you know, that's up for the, the citizens of Pennsylvania to decide whether or not uh, that occurred. I'm not talking about Pennsylvania. I'm talking about America. Is, is Joe Biden the rightfully elected president of the United States? Mac Warner does not believe that he is. And he is the secretary of state in charge of elections in the state. The opinion carries some water. Do you have an opinion? Yeah. Uh, Joe, uh, uh, the, yes, he is indeed the president of the United States. You're all around that answer, Ken. You're not actually <laughs> hitting the answer. <laughs> Like a true politician. Joe Biden is indeed the president of the United States. That that is a fact. He is the president right now. But you don't want to answer whether he was he was elected uh, duly. Oh yeah, no, he he was elected. That's how he became president of the United States. Yeah, but do you? You know, we're like I'm like a lawyer cross examining here. I mean, so I'm, I'm going to take that as you don't you don't believe he was rightfully elected. You don't believe it was a, it was a uh, an election without fraud. Then no, no, I actually believe he was rightfully elected, Mr. Stubble. Okay, Ken, I'm going to give you a question that you can be more easily evasive about. Uh, <laughs> more easily evasive. Yeah, the, That's uh, a good bumper sticker. The. the uh, uh, our legislators they, uh, uh, have been very successful, and I think probably rightfully so, uh, enforcing a, a, a flat budget for the last several years, and that would include your office. Do you have any sense at all, and I realize you have not actually not embedded it, do you have any sense at all how do we need technological upgrades in the Secretary of State's office, one for integrating between all the counties and also to have state-of-the-art equipment? Um, I don't know what we have right now, um, Bill. The it, right now it, it seems like I'm telling you I, from from my experience in running other businesses, uh, the equipment that we have go pretty much out of date within five years. So I don't know when the equipment was put in or the software was put in. Most of that software is usually run by one or two companies. They they, they they get on the sites and they run the same sites. I noticed when I was paying my taxes and um, so I have to pay taxes in Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. And I noticed that the tax department, uh, there's two or two or three of those states use the same software. So it's the same format. Uh, I don't know. The bottom line is I don't know enough about that yeah. uh, question to, to answer it in any type of knowledgeable way and, and that's fair i did not really expect you to uh, dwell that deep into the uh, the mechanics of the office hey this uh, this half hour flew by ken final word is yours uh well i appreciate you having me on rob the uh i would uh, love to be your next uh, secretary of state and if you want to uh help me in my campaign you can go to my website at uh, www.kenreedforwestvirginia.com and uh, look at what we got going on there and maybe donate and uh, we can go from there. Maybe we'll have a Eastern Panhandle Secretary of State coming through the, the works. Ken, thank you so much for your time this morning. Greatly appreciate it. You're welcome. You have a nice day. Thanks, Thanks Ken. Ken. Ken Reed.